Previously on OMG, we bought a house. This bathroom is so complete. It's petite, complete. I love it. Cheers to our new kitchen. Cheers to a couple of great years in the house. Yes. Many more to come. Many more to come. Let's see how many more times we redo this kitchen. You never know what phase she's gonna be in. Can't wait to decorate. There's so much we can make. How will it turn out? OMG, we bought a house. Kate, door. Coming! Oh, Dasher and Twerker and Schnitzel and Vixen. Okay. Is that how it goes? Nope. Do you hey. like our sweater? Do you like our sweater? It's the holiday season. <laughs> Nothing says holiday cheer like a really ugly sweater. And now that it's all high tech, you know, these days, we have LED lights in our sweater. We are modern. We're so modern. We are modern homeowners. We're so cool. Welcome to OMG. We bought a house. This is our holiday special. Our holiday special. We're both sounding a little nasally because we both have holiday cold. It's the holidays, it's guys. The holidays. It's the holidays. the holidays. You know, you get presents, you get a little snot. Today is an extra special episode because we also just passed 700,000 subscribers. So thanks I, to you guys thanks for to you subscribing. Guys. As you guys know, every 100,000 subscribers, we give $1,000 to a charity that helps those in need find, find homes, homes or sense of home, which especially in the holiday season, that is so important. That warmth and connectedness, regardless if you're a homeowner or homeless, everyone deserves to have that sense of home. Today, we're going to take holiday that check cheer and spirit to a really cool charity. Yes. And subscribe, guys, if you haven't yet, because then when we get to 800,000, we'll bring another check somewhere. Motivation. Yeah. Let's make cupcakes. Cool. Setting up the tree. Because we just renovated the kitchen, I definitely want to add some decorations in the breakfast nook. We don't usually do that. We usually just decorate in the living room. So I'm making some cupcakes while Joey's wrangling the tree that we got last year. It's like a birch tree and it has little built-in lights on it. What? Is that right? That's right. Flare out the branches. So these aren't supposed to be like on the ground level. No, Joey, it's a birch tree. This tree, while really simple, is still somehow difficult for me. I'm not really sure why. What are you making? I'm making saffron cupcakes. Ooh. So for these cupcakes, you wanna make the base first, which is mixing three eggs, one cup of sugar, and one teaspoon of vanilla powder. It smells so good. I'm using an electric mixer, but obviously you could use a whisk for this part as well. Kate? What? Can you come do this? It's why? Not, it's not working for me. I'll decorate later. Come help me with these. Do I know how to make cupcakes? Nope. What? I can't believe you're gonna make me wear the sweater to the charity. Why? Because they're gonna just they're they're gonna think we're weirdos. I thought it would be fun if Joey and I wore some very festive sweaters. I mean, I know these are totally obnoxious. I mean, we're weirdos, but our Santas are really slaying the game. I am making saffron cupcakes. It is Swedish recipe. No, 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 no. You're gonna get 100 grams of this, so cut it lengthwise this way. This year has been a really big year for us with our home. You guys know we bought our home like three years ago. Joey and I work really hard and it's really nice to come home and just know that it's our safe place to nurture our relationship with each other. Okay, so this is the most important part, Joey, the saffron, because this is where we're gonna get that essence. Oh, it smells butter. Ooh, that looks good. Does that taste good? Okay, put that on the heat. No, no, no! Oh my gosh! Uh, I'd call it a fold. I mean, what would you call it? Slow mix. It's a vertical mix. When you don't know what to do, you can always defer to a remix. Cupcake remix with Kate and Joey. It's a cupcake remix with Kate and Joey. <laughs> Oh, 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 cupcake. Big that good cupcake, cupcake. That's right, your mama butt cake. Whoop, butt cake. Did you say your mama butt cake? No. So now it's time to mix together the dry ingredients, but then this is creating the batter that you then pour into your beautiful muffin tins, hopping it in the oven, and then we'll let them cool and we'll ice them. It's not your traditional cupcake. It's like a saffron bun cupcake with an orange peel glazed icing with a wedge of orange on top. Really? I love spiced 
hot chocolate that has like cinnamon and a little bit of nutmeg. It's so good, especially on like cold nights to drink something that's both warm and a little bit spicy. So I'm mixing this up with some almond milk and some cocoa and a little bit of sugar. I'm also adding some foam milk on top and then sprinkling with some little bits of peppermint candy and some more cinnamon. I come bearing gifts. Sparkly, sparkly gifts. You wanna come help me with this stuff? Decorating this breakfast nook is really easy. I mean, it's such a beautiful little cute space. So we're just using this felt garland and we're just kind of looping it across the window. I don't want to go crazy in here because it's kind of a small room. So the tree, a star in the window, it's one of those paper stars. I think like a like just a cluster of three. That's five items. In the little alcove next to the table, we are placing this really cool thing. When the candles are lit, it spins the angels around and they like ding, ding, ding on these little bells below and it's just like a really peaceful cute sound. I'm gonna think someone's at the door like all the time. All right so it's crafting time at Mr. K. It's time to make felt collars for our cats. We can't have holiday festiveness without something for the kitties. Our fur children are for babies so I figured just for the holiday season they can have some little jangly jingleys around their necks. <sighs> These DIY felt holly leaf bell collars are so easy. We're just cutting strips of the felt in nice thin strips. And then we are cutting out some different size holly leaves. We wanna do this in a contrasting color felt and make some bigger holly leaves and then some smaller holly leaves to kind of layer over each other. And you'll just wanna stitch those on the collar, place either a bell or a pom-pom or something in the middle and it's so cute and it's really easy, you just stitch it on. And then to close it, you can either use a piece of Velcro or in our case, magnet. So they just kind of like magnetize together. So it's easy, like breakaway collar. If the cats get stuck on anything, they're not gonna be like strangling in their festiveness. They are done, they're so cute, oh my gosh. Oh, is it time for collars and yeah. treats? Winston, here Maxine. you go, buddy. Very festive. Look at that, you look Christmas so spirit. Festiveness on fleek right here in our newly renovated kitchen. I'm so proud of us. We went through so much this year. So nice that it's done in time to enjoy during this really special time. Okay, so we're going to the charity. I'll grab the checkbook, you grab the cupcakes. Mmm, those cupcakes are almost better than the check. I think they want both. Okay. All right, let's pack up the cupcakes and go, okay? Let's do it. Love you. Are you talking to me or the cats? We brought All right, you we brought some, you some goodies. goodies. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> we're here because we're, we're donating $1,000 to thank your charity. You. We have a YouTube channel, mm -hmm. and for every 100,000 subscribers we get, we give $1,000 to charities that help those who may need a sense of home because our channel is all about home. That's one of the things you guys do, right? Exactly, so we are a runaway and homeless youth shelter for youth 12 to 17. Wow. And then we have transitional living program for youth 18 to 21. They're really looking for hope. They're looking for a place to live, a stable and safe environment. During this time of year, it gets really uh, full for both both houses. And so we keep the doors open for, for our youth to come in and we try to give them a little opportunity to experience what it feels like to sleep in a warm bed at night, to have a hot plate of food, right. mm -hmm. to know what it feels like to be able to get up, go to school, be transported up and back. Well, thank you for having us and thank you more importantly for your amazing work within the community. This is from our subscribers to you guys yes. and us to you. So hopefully this can help. We should come back right. and do like you... some DIY stuff with you guys. That would be family. perfect. We thank you so yeah. much. Thank hey. you. Thank you. Thanks for everything you guys are doing. Thank you. On behalf of all of our youth at Los Angeles Youth Network, we want to say thank you so much for you being a part of uh, their Christmas this year. Uh, that was really moving. You know what's really awesome? What? You. Wow, thanks. So you. are you. Yeah. It was so nice that we were able to donate that money. Thank you guys so much for being the reason that we are able to keep giving these checks. So if you haven't yet, subscribe. And when we get to 800,000 subscribers, we will give another check, and then 900, another check, and then a million, another check, and then someone will win the $10,000 giveaway. Happy holidays, everybody. So much home happening. So much home happening, yeah. If you have the opportunity to give back or just do something for your community, try that too, because it feels good. I feel good. Happy holidays, you guys. Mwah. Bye. Bye.